All right, hey guys, I don't feel like making a video. I've done like an eight hours of formal teaching today. Just finished up a home defense class. I'm at Taloric Group doing all kinds of training classes, fun stuff. Uh, but man, I'm beat. But I've been wanting to talk about the best home defense gun for a newer shooter. So if you're, uh, I almost hesitate to do even something like this because I can just tear this to shreds and I'm sure some of you guys can too. So if you're just some three gun savant with all these weapon systems, well, great, you can run a pistol like a champ, a shotgun like a champ, a rifle with a champ, and you may have your favorites too. But I'm trying to kind of war game through what's the best option for, uh, say, say uh, if I had a wife who didn't have a lot of training, how could I, uh, in, I had three different options of uh, a pistol, an AR, and a shotgun. What would be the best thing right out of the get-go that would allow her to prevail in a fight in the event our home was invaded? So I'm trying to look through there, and I'm trying to key in on a bunch of different indices, not just what I like, but what would be best for her. So uh, actually, during the home defense class, it's just a four-hour class. Don't travel from, like, Oregon to come see it or anything else like that. But if you can make it, it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, uh, we went out on the range and I had a lady who shot the AR, the shotgun, and she's been taking some pistol stuff as well just to see kind of how she reacted. Uh, and so we were kind of judging these criteria. We talked about them beforehand, went and shot, and then revisited the criteria to see what we came up with. Now, all these different indices that we're talking about could be weighted a little bit different, but it's just, this isn't set in stone. And as soon as you change one variable, everything can kind of change. So for instance, I'm talking about over penetration, which is talking about how around you fire around and it goes through one wall and then the next wall and then the next wall and then it hits the kids in the you know room over. That's bad. You don't want bullets to keep going through wall after wall. That's called over penetration when it does so mitigating over penetration so it's uh, not going on and on forever. Uh, you can do it. When I, I look at shotgun, what about the shotgun? Well, if you have bird shot, it's not going to over penetrate hardly anything. It's just going to kind of stop right away, but it's not its not going to really stop the threat either unless you're right up on them. Uh, now, if you shoot a slug, it's going to go through one wall, then the next wall, and then the next wall, and the walls after that, and then eventually it's just going to wrap around the earth and hit you in the back of the head with a shotgun slug. Nothing stops those. You just keep going. <laughs> Terrifying. That's such a dumb joke, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to edit it out because that's kind of my style of dad joke right there. So anyway, of uh, some of this stuff is real subjective. So bear with me. It's really kind of a conversation starter and it'll allow you to walk through what's going to be best for you. First off is accuracy ease. Right off with minimal training, if they had to pick up a shotgun, rifle, or pistol, based on what I know as an instructor, it is going to be harder to be accurate off a pistol. As it recoils and you push it down, jerk trigger, anticipate shot, it's very common for someone at five yards to empty five, six, seven rounds at someone right in front of them and under stress not miss, not hit them a single time. Hard to be accurate with a pistol. Uh, AR is much easier. It barks really loud. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Uh, but it really stays on target. It can be really nice to shoot. This isn't a good home defense gun. You don't want a can on it. I want my whole neighborhood to hear that John is in a gunfight. Call police. So I don't want cans on it. So I'd want to take this off. And I like a shorter barrel as well that's really going to be loud and it's easier to manipulate around corners for my wife. So uh, something like the AR pistol could be a good idea. It's got white light on there as well. It's missing an optic. I need to add one of those. But uh, anyway, uh, sorry. So uh, anyway, an AR is real easy to just kind of point and go, and it's kind of fun, especially when you make the noise like I did. And then a shotgun as well. Now, there, there's some myths with shotgun because a lot of people have like, someone's breaking in at the east, so I shot my shotgun and everyone in the east died immediately. Shotguns aren't spanning out, fanning out as much as you may think. I asked somebody in the class, I'm like, uh, at this distance from here to here, it's about five yards from this corner that I'm looking at and you can't see. How much do you think it's fanning out? And I pointed at a little mannequin head over there uh, in the corner. Uh, and he said, a couple of feet on each side. You know, that's a big spread. And I'm like, this? And I'm like, actually, it's going to spread out for a, about one inch per yard. So it should be about, you know, about a five inch group here. This is about it. And his eyes got real big. He's like, man, I, I thought it was going to be much bigger. And it's not. You still have to aim a shotgun. Uh, but still, I gave it out of 10, a 9 out of 10, a 7 out of 10, and a 3 out of 10. I thought that was fair, and if you disagree, I don't care. That's great. Uh, recoil management. How easy is it to hold on target and just go pop, 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 and keep all hits uh, congregating around the same area? 
Uh, I said uh, pistol, uh, because though it's not really kicking you back like a, the mule that a shotgun will be, didn't get a really good score, uh, it's still hard to get back on target, so it is imparting enough movement that it's hard to get quick follow-up shots without training, again, for newer shooters. AR doesn't move a whole lot. You can kind of point and just go pop, 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 pop. Even with little training, it kind of stays closer on target. And a shotgun, here's a problem I have with shotgun, and I love the idea of shotgun for home defense. Uh, so um, get a good defensive load in there for good home defense, uh, you know, um, uh, load uh, in there. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, one difficulty, I started to lose my train of thought here, uh, for the recoil management of would would your wife be able to pick up shotgun, defeat safety, aim, fire around, boom, and then have the combat mindset to ch ch chamber another round? Uh, I think a lot of us, if we were honest, don't know whether our wives would really do that. Here's another thing is I, I walked this lady tonight on how to, hey, here's the safety. All you have to do, point, shoot, bang, ch ch bang and then I just walked her through it then I showed her let her do it with me and then I'd run the target real fast at her to emulate a little bit of stress to kind of reveal what would she be able to do in the moment so uh, kind of minimal training which I would expect uh, uh, for just most most uh, wives out there which is what she was uh, or is uh, so um, anyway, I was just trying to emulate that. Two times the target got all the way up to her before she fired, finally fired around on the third try and then still just couldn't quite have the mindset to rack, rack. And then there's some other gals out there that won't have any problem with it at all and they'll rock it and roll the first time. But it's just stuff so that we, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a husband trying to prepare a wife and getting her a good home defense gun, we can be realistic. Don't think that you can just be like, all right, here, baby, uh, here's the safety. You rack, you shoot, good, uh, all right, fantastic, and let's go out to the range and try that once or twice a year. Uh, don't think that that's going to be enough. It requires training, right? Uh, the other thing is ammo capacity. This is pretty hard to argue with qual uh, quantitatively. 30 rounds, half of that, you know, say 15 rounds in my pistol, so half, and then if shotgun, you only got like six rounds in there. Well, six times five is 30, uh, two times five is 10, so it's just a nice uh, quantitative uh, measure out. Over penetration, again, this is variable, and as soon as you say, well, defensive ammo, uh, a pistol round will just keep going through walls, especially if it's ball, you know, ball ammo. It's just gonna keep going through wall, uh, you know, a piece of sheetrock after piece of sheetrock. That's not a good thing. Uh, uh, same thing with AR, but an AR is a very, very light projectile. An AR is a 22 caliber, almost. It's a .223. Very, very, very tiny round. And because it's traveling so fast and it's so light, whenever it hits a medium of some sort, it just rips it to shreds. And that's how it does so much tissue damage when it's hit something. But it also keeps it from going through wall after wall after wall again. So ARs are going to stop far sooner than a pistol round, and uh, the shotgun depends on the, uh, what, what you're actually shooting through it. So uh, anyway, these are just things to think about. Now when you say, well, hey, I shoot defensive ammo, so it, it stops much sooner. I'm like, great, well, if you got defensive ammo and you keep apples to apples, we still kind of stay in this realm, give or take. So um, generalities here. Uh, handling ease and other difficulties when you have some big longbow, 16 inch barrel that can be a little bit difficult for somebody who doesn't have training to manipulate around a door jam uh and it can also be very heavy uh for some as well you know you, you, i'm rocking this sweet librarian build uh lately if y'all knew how far i've fallen i'm getting it back i'm working out so don't judge me here uh but um anyway my um uh the handling ease as well pistols are far easier to hold up and handle uh, and then uh, shotguns and uh, ARs or rifles, uh, not uh, scoring as well. Also, the stopping power. Uh, let's say if you hit some, and I know the fallacy of stopping power, I'm just saying of like if you hit them in the shoulder with all three of these guns, not one after the other, that'd be a bad day for him, but just kind of hit them up high, up, upper shoulder, miss the lung here, but hit them in the upper shoulder. What is most likely to say, all right, I'm done? Uh, pistol. AR or shotgun. And I would say if you hit him in the shoulder with a 12 gauge shotgun, he's done. 
<laughs> he's done. That's a bad day. I'm like, all right, quit. I quit. Uh, Bistol, not as much. AR, not as much. But the AR can, uh, can do a lot more tissue damage than a pistol, and a shotgun will do far more tissue damage than both. Uh, so I kind of weighted them all out, added up the percentages, and saw the AR-15 generally was the best option at 73%. Shotgun at 58% was second place, and then pistol at 47%. Some of you are going to freak out and hate this, but it's just something to start a conversation with. Uh, so what do you think is the best home defense gun for newer shooters? And here's something I didn't answer. What is the best home defense gun for somebody who is not a newer shooter, somebody who's good at all three of these? Uh, go ahead and comment, like, uh, share, share, uh, subscribe, train hard, and train smart, guys. Hope this was helpful. See ya.